guys, Michelle here with the Traveling Epicurean. Today is all about German pancakes. I already have it on my website and I've gotten several requests to put a shell with the recipe. So that's what we're gonna do today. You're not gonna believe how easy it is to make this German pancake that poofs in the oven. It's unbelievable. Come with me and we'll get those ingredients together. So this is what we're gonna need to make our wonderful German pancakes. One cup of flour, five eggs, a teaspoon of vanilla, a cup of milk, a half a teaspoon of salt, and a quarter teaspoon of cinnamon, and that's it. We're gonna whisk the dry, we're gonna whisk the wet, and then add it to the dry. I'm gonna get four tablespoons of butter frothy and get this cast iron pan super hot. And then we're gonna to top the German pancake with fresh blueberries, blackberry jam, and some fresh maple syrup. And I love this jam, it's really delicious. All right, so let's get whisking those eggs. All right, so we're gonna prepare our wet ingredients, sift our dry, and then we're gonna whisk the wet slowly into the dry. So let's get our eggs and our vanilla and our milk in this bowl here. And we'll get that out of the way. Some recipes actually have you doing all of this in a blender. I feel that it's so simple that we just really don't even need to go that route. Just quickly whisk, very simple. This is amazing how easy this recipe is and the outcome of this giant puffed popover. That's actually what this is, it's a giant popover. And it's so amazingly good. You're gonna love it. All right, that's done. I'm gonna get the pan on the stove and we're gonna start getting this butter frothy because to whisk the wet into the dry takes a matter of a minute. All right, so we have the pan on the stove getting super hot and that butter is gonna get all frothy and bubbly. I got the eggs whisked. I'm gonna start to sift the dry ingredients. There's so many recipes out there that have you um, putting the pan in the oven, pulling it out, pouring the eggs in, and then sliding it back in. And I think that's kind of disastrous because the egg can go over the sides. Um, I like doing it on the stove top using the mittens, putting it into the oven that way. And some don't even have you heating it up. They just have you put it in a bake dish and then pop that in the oven. So I find that this is the best recipe. I really love this recipe. I've been making it for years and years. I got it from some friends of mine who live in Vermont and they shared this recipe with me a long time ago. Of course, I changed it up a little bit. Not too much though. All right, so we're gonna whisk slowly the wet ingredients into the dry and I'm just gonna keep whisking until it's completely combined. You don't wanna overwork it because we don't wanna work any glutens. We're just whisking till it's combined. A little something for the counter. <laughs> And you know, it might look a little bit lumpy, but that's okay, you don't need to get out all the lumps. We're just whisking. Okay, that's looking really, really good. And that is done. So let's get this over to the stove and we'll add it to our frothy butter. All right, so we have a hot pan here. I've got four tablespoons of butter hot pan. See how frothy it's getting? As soon as that butter dissolves completely, I'm going to pour in the batter and then we're going to pop it in the oven. In goes the batter and into the oven it goes. I'm putting this into a 425 degree oven and it's going to be in there for about 20 minutes. Look at how beautiful this German pancake is. Ah, look at that. Yes. Are, you, are you excited? Yes. Is that beautiful? I haven't had one in forever. Whew. So this is a surprise you were talking about. No, I have another surprise for you. Let me close the oven and then we're going to cut this baby up. Yes. Does that look awesome? Yes. It just puffs right up. It's a giant popover. Little no screen. We're gonna just 
put this on the board. That's how I like to do it. I like to place it on the board. You don't need to keep it in the pan. This is so hot because it's been in the oven for, and I don't want anybody burning themselves because that would really, really hurt. So I'm gonna leave the pot holder on the handle there and we're gonna sprinkle some confectionery sugar. Is that gonna be delicious Yes, yes. So good. You wanna sprinkle the confectionery sugar on Yes. There? All right, so you know you tap the sides, right? I know. You know all about this, don't you? Yes, I do. You are the expert at confectioner sugar. All right, Miss Bella. There you go. Oh, that looks so pretty. So I'll slice this up. Riley likes it with syrup, but you don't. What do you like it with? Just butter. With butter. Okay. Extra butter. Extra butter. Extra butter. Everything's good with extra butter, right? Oh, it's extra butter. <laughs> Always and extra. Good. Okay, that looks beautiful. Um, so let me get some butter, and then we'll get a couple slices together. <laughs> it's new. It's beautiful. It's butterful. It's butterful. Hey, I like butterful. All right, That's so we're there. there. <laughs> I just want the whole thing, don't you? I want there and there and there and there and there. So, so I have your butter. Well, we have to save some for Riley when he gets back. We don't have to tell him that there was a German pancake. <laughs> there we go. And you know, this is perfect for guests, right? Because the guests are always shocked when we take it out of the oven. For this dare. holiday, the holiday season. All right. We do. You want right here? Yeah. Okay. This big piece like that. Both of those. Well, how about we start off with one. But I don't have that one too. And then <laughs> look how beautiful that is. I want it. All right. So get some butter. Butter, butter, butter. And then butter, I'm going to take a slice. So what do we say it tastes, it tastes like? It tastes like a waffle, French toast, and pancake all mixed together. Great. The fork for you, and I like a little jam, that blackberry jam, right in the middle there. You can s spread it around, but you really don't need to. And some fresh blueberries. Um, it's good. I like to put some beautiful blueberries. So pretty. It's really good, huh? Mine. And it tastes a little bit custardy in the middle, doesn't it? A little bit. And I'm gonna pour a little. So you don't want any syrup, though, right? It's Riley who likes the syrup. Drizzle some 100% maple syrup on there. I'll, I'll have a little bit. You want a little syrup on there? Good. Okay. Oh, the best part. Digging in. Oh my goodness. I already ate half of mine. <laughs> it's okay. Oh, this is so heavenly. Mm. Mm. Wow. That's really, really delicious. You're going to love this recipe, mm. huh, Bella? You think mm -hmm. they'll like it? Mm hmm. So, Bella? Yeah. You want to tell them where you can get the recipe? I, will, I was traveling at the Korean and blog thing. You can get the recipe at thetravelingepicurean.com. You're going to love this recipe. It's perfect for guests in the holiday season. You've got to make this German pancake, this giant popover. Have a great day. Ciao. Bye. Bye. It's bye in English. <laughs>